happy afternoon to my dear students first of all i welcome you into my youtube channel anthrodar maths i am believe that you are in a good health and you are doing your studies sincerely and very seriously okay so in continuation of my previous classes i am going to take another class on the topic that is called what compound multiple and sub multiple angles okay so here i am going to solve few more questions okay because this chapter is little bit lengthy one so, so different type of problems i am going to approach to solve so that your ideas can be developed on this particular chapter okay and you can solve more problems at your own level okay so first <coughs> question is uh, there is a find the value of this particular expression kya nikalna hai 2 cos 2 cos pi by 13 cos 9 pi by 13 plus cos 3 pi by 13 plus cos 5 pi by 13 uska value aap kya kare nikale theek hai so i have taken the expression expression ko le liya and first i what i have done i am supposing this particular ye do angle hai pi by 13 and 9 pi by 13 okay in dono angle mein i am this is the greater angle and this is the smaller angle okay i suppose that this is what uh, this particular uh, this is what a I'm considering this is what A, and this is what B. Okay, so understood. Then ultimately your expression becomes what two cos A into what cos B, two cos A into what cos B type, and you know a result of two cos A cos B, two cos A cos B. Kya ek result hai? Two cos A cos B equal to what? Cos A plus B plus cos A minus B. I have given the list of formulas. You have go through this list. You will get. cos a plus b plus cos a minus b equal to 2 cos a cos b i am taking this angle is greater angle and this is smaller one that's why i am supposing what 9 pi by 13 equal to what a 9 by 9 pi by 13 ko kya suppose kya a and what is pi by 13 it equal to what b and finally it is 2 cos a cos b type and 2 cos a cos b and which can be cos a plus b plus cos a minus b so cos a plus b kya hoga this is a this is b cos a plus b plus cos a minus b okay a remaining step is as same there is no any changes okay now if you take lcm it becomes what 10 pi by 3 if you take lcm it becomes what 8 pi by 3 13 8 pi by 13 10 pi by 13 okay now these are these four terms i want to what say 3 pi and 10 pi 10 pi plus 3 pi equal to what 13 okay and you see 8 pi plus 5 pi equal to what again 13 so i am arranging this relate this term with this and relate this term with this one kaise karenge if i say write 10 pi plus 13 can i write this pi minus 3 pi by 13 how i can write you see it is very easy 10 pi kya hai 10 pi is what um, 13 pi minus pi minus 3 pi divided by 13 okay और इसके बाद अगर ये सेपरेट करें थर्टीन थर्टीन कैंसिल होगा क्या होगा पाई होगा एंड थ्री पाई बाई थर्टीन होगा होगा कि नहीं सो इजीली यू कैन सॉल्व द पर्टिकुलर इजीली यू कैन एक्सपांड टेन पाई बाई थर्टीन टू दिस ओके सिमिलरली दिस वन इज व्हाट थर्टीन माइनस फाइव पाई थर्टीन माइनस फाइव पाई थर्टीन माइनस फाइव पाई कैन बी रिटर्न पाई माइनस फाइव बाई थर्टीन ओके और यू कैन टेक एल सी एम थर्टीन बाई थर्टीन पाई माइनस फाइव पाई इक्वल टू वट एट हो रहा है कि नहीं इजी नाउ हेयर आई एम गोइंग टू यूज अनदर पर्टिकुलर फॉर्मूला यू नो दैट कोस पाई माइनस टीटा ऑलरेडी इन द लास्ट क्लास आई इन ए प्रॉब्लम आई हैव यूज दिस कॉस पाई माइनस टीटा इक्वल टू वट माइनस कॉस टीटा दिस इज पाई दिस इज टीटा हेयर दिस इज पाई दिस इज वट टीटा दिस आर दिस स्मॉल एक्यूट एंगल ओके so you can use this formula cos pi minus theta equal to cos the y because in second quadrant this angle lies pi minus theta lies in which quadrant second quadrant and in second quadrant cos is negative and since with pi one is multiplied integral multiple is what one so there is no change of trigonometric ratios so cos remain what cos so is it minus idhar aa gaya because of quadrant and cos remain what cos because of the integral multiple of pi is what 1 understood so same pattern is there here theta is what this one so you can write this step from this step you can write minus cos 
3 pi by 13. Similarly, this one minus cos, cos pi minus theta type minus cos 5 pi by 13. And other terms are as is well. Baki term same rega. Okay. And finally, you see this term cancel with this term, this term cancel with this term, and your result is what? 0. Okay. So, in this way, you can solve such type of questions. Okay. This is the first question I have solved. What formula I have applied? One formula I have applied cos a plus b plus cos a minus b. So, reverse order may like a 2 cos a cos b equal to cos a plus b plus cos a minus b. And also use the quadrant from quadrant rule that is a cos pi minus theta equal to what? Minus cos theta. Okay. So, both the formula. So, everything in trigonometry what happened? Formula should be uh, in a ready reference. Aap ke liye formula kya hona chahiye? Your mouth mein rehna chahiye. And if it is so, then it will be easy for you to solve the particular questions. And when you solve and when you practice more and more problems, what happened? Then what happened in your mind immediately will come which formula you are going to apply in this particular questions. Jitna jaldi konsa problem, problem, konsa formula problem may use karenge ye agar dimak mein a jaye, then what happened? You will solve the question easily. Aap jaldi jaldi expert ho jayenge, theek hai? So let us going to solve another question, very nice question. You are going to prove that question is root 3. So, little technical question minus sec 20 degree equal to what 4. Root 3 cos sec 20 degree minus sec 20 degree equal to what 4. You are going to prove it. Okay, this is your question. So, let us take left hand side of this particular question root 3 cosec 20 degree minus sec 20 degree okay convert into sin and cos we know that cos theta equal to what 1 by sin theta so you write 1 by sin 20 degree minus 1 by cos 20 degree okay understood so root 3 is case multiply you write root 3 here okay now take lcm sin 20 degree into cos 20 degree so after taking lcm what will happen root 3 will multiply it with this so you will get root 3 cos 20 degree 1 will multiply it with this equal to what sin 20 degree hope you understand this is the step i have followed okay here i am going to do an innovation every time in maths to solve a particular question you will do something innovation naya karna hoga tab naya karenge to problem ko aage badh sakte to what i am going to do my aim is to what uh, simplify the numerator okay so numerator ko thoda sa arrangement kare badhna ye phone nahi mil sakta to get 4, what we will do? Sin 20, cos 20, yeh sare chiz khatam karna hoga. Clear? I am multiplying every term, dividing the numerator by what? Half. Half se multiply kya, okay? Divide or multiply, divide by 2 or multiply by half, same thing. And similarly, multiplying by what? Half. Okay, bracket given. So, in numerator and denominator, what happened? I am multiplying by half. So, you are saying, sir, why? Because I want to sum, sum innovation. I want to sum reform on the, on the particular uh, numerator. There will be some changes in the numerator. Okay, that's why I am multiplying by Why I have multiplied by five, half? You will understand now. Okay. Now, this half remains same and ye half kya kare dono ke saath multiply kar le. it will be root 3 by 2 into cos 20 degree minus root 3 by half into sin 20 degree divided by what 
half into sin 20 degree into what? Cos 20 degree. Okay? Hogagini. See, very, very interesting. Sin cos how many degree equal to? Uh, cos how many degree equal to root 3 by 2? Kitna ho sakta hai apko unko pata hai? Cos how many degree equal to? You know, sin 60 degree equal to what? Root 3 by 2. Sin 60 degree equal to what? Root 3 by 2. So, cos 30 degree equal to what? Root 3 by 2. So, you can write it is what cos 30 degree into cos 20 or you can write like that it will be better okay you write uh, this is sin 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 30 degree into cos 20 and so sin has my cos may express grow this is cos 30 degree into what sin 20 i hope you understand now sin 30 degree equal to root i'm sorry sin 60 degree is sin 60 degree okay and it will be also 60 degree now sin 60 degree equal to what root 3 by 2 and cos 60 degree equal to what half okay and it can be written as 1 by 4 into 2 sin 20 degree into cos 20 degree okay so 2 and 1 by 4 4, four cancel okay kya hoga? half hoga. why i have given 2 I want to apply a formula, you know, sin twice a equal to what? 2 sin a cos a. Already you got in the last class, last few classes, 2 sin a cos a equal to what? Sin twice a. So, this is exactly of this type, a equal to what? 20 degree. So, you can apply the formula 2 sin a cos a equal to what? Sin 2 a. So, kya hoga? Sin 2 into 20 degree means what? So the result kya hoga? Sin 2, sin 2, sin 2 degree into cos 2 degree equal to what? Sin 40 degree, okay? So to use the formula sin 2, I say, I have multiplied by 2 and immediately I have divided by 2 also. So yeah, 1 by 4, okay? okay? And what is this? Sin, if you consider this is A and this is B, then sin A cos B minus cos A sin B. Sin A cos B minus cos A sin B equal to what? Sin A plus B, okay? Sin A minus B, okay? So your step is, this is what sine A minus B, 60 degree minus 20 degree, okay? And it was 1 by, it is what, 2 sine 2, 20 degree into cos 20 degree equal to what? Sine 2 into 20 degree, sine twice a formula, okay? Repeatedly I am telling you, this is what sine 40 degree. Hope you understand. And then, which can be written as? sin 60 minus 20 sin 40 and this 1 by 4 reverse okay jo numerator mein kya hoga ye 4 ho jayegi niche kya hoga sin 40 degree and this one this one cancel and finally you get what 4 which equal to what right hand side hope you understand okay so this is the uh, problem where you see what innovation i have done First, I am multiplying numerator and denominator by what? Half. Okay. And then arrange it. And then write, this is sin 60 degree and this is right cos 60 degree. And apply the formula sin A minus B. And here I have done another innovation. Multiplying by 2 and dividing by half. So, ye balance okay kya hai? Half or I Cancel okay. And 2 sin A sin cos B equal to what? Sin twice A. 2 sin A cos A equal to what? Sin twice A formula okay sin twice a equal to what two sin a cos a in this way you can apply the formula and solve the question okay so this is a very nice question so one more question i will solve in the class question is if sin alpha plus sin beta equal to a and cos alpha plus cos beta equal to b prove that 
you are going to prove that a result a is what sin alpha plus beta sin alpha plus beta equal to what twice a b by a square plus b square and cos alpha plus beta equal to what b square minus a square divided by b square plus a square okay this is the formula okay you are going to prove it very nice question so we start with the given condition given sin alpha plus sin beta equal to what a so here you, we, we, are, we are going to use sin c plus sin d formula what is sin c plus sin d 2 sin sin c plus sin d equal to what 2 sc okay 2 sin c plus d divided by 2 into cos c plus d divided by 2 so using this formula we will get 2 sin alpha plus beta divided by 2 into cos alpha minus beta divided by 2 equal to what a this is what relation number 1 now take and another is what given cos alpha plus cos beta equal to what b so again use Again, use the formula cos c plus cos d. Cos c plus cos d kya ta? 2 c c. Go, to, go through the list of the formula, please. Then you understand. 2 c c. So, pahle c ke liye kya hoga? Alpha plus beta divided by 2. 2 cos alpha plus beta divided by 2 into cos alpha minus beta divided by 2. Equal to what? B. Okay? Hope you understand. ठीक है तो इसके बाद ये इसका नंबर क्या करो नंबर 2 रिलेशन नंबर व्हाट 2 ओके इफ यू व्हाट इफ यू डिवाइड 1 बाय 2 व्हाट विल डू विल डिवाइड 1 बाय 2 सो 1 डिवाइडेड बाय 2 इंप्लाइज तो लेफ्ट हैंड साइड में क्या होगा 2 cos alpha plus beta, I'm sorry, sine, sine alpha plus beta divided by 2 into cos alpha minus beta divided by 2 and here me kya 2 cos alpha plus beta divided by 2 into cos alpha minus beta divided by 2 and right hand side me kya a divided by what b? I hope you understand equation 1 or oh, equ equation 1 ko equation 2 se kya kya divide kya so left hand side divided by left hand side left hand side mein division hoga right hand side mein aisa division hoga theek hai isme kya ho sakta this term and that term are same multiplication is there 2 to cancel and you get sin alpha plus beta divided by 2 by cos alpha plus beta divided by 2 if you consider this is theta and this is also theta sin theta by cos theta equal to what 10 theta so it will be 10 alpha plus beta divided by 2 equal to what a by b hope you are understanding okay and which equal to 10 a equal to a by b i am replacing alpha plus beta by 2 alpha plus beta by 2 ko suppose kya a tk so right side me dikhe where where capital A equal to what? Alpha plus beta by 2. Was a two less a calculation hoga. Twice A equal to what? Alpha plus beta. Tige? Twice A equal to what? Alpha plus beta. Understood. And ultimately what is given? Very, very important. You see, 10 A is given. And you are to find what? In the first question, you are to find what? Sign you are to find sin alpha plus beta and in second question you are to find cos alpha plus beta alpha plus beta kya hai twice a to aapko nikalna hai sin twice a aur isme alpha bilat to aapko kya nikalna hai cos twice a understood ultimately you see you do not think over alpha plus beta now you are to think over 
then a is given you are to find sin twice a this means this one and you are to find cos twice a means this one aapko sin twice a or cos twice a agar nikal le to aapka ye alpha plus beta sin alpha plus beta and cos alpha plus beta kya hoga nikal jayegi theek hai to hum shuru karenge kahan se we are to find now sin alpha plus beta equal to what अल्फा प्लस बीटा क्या है दिस वन तो इसमें अगर साइन लगा इफ यू टेक साइन ऑन दिस साइड तो वी शुड टेक साइन ऑन दिस साइड सो साइन टू ऐसे नाउ साइन टू ऐसे हैव टू टाइप ऑफ फॉर्मूला वन एज टू साइन ए कॉस ए एंड यू सिंस यू हैव गिवन टेन ए इक्वल टू वाट ए वाई बी आपको टेन ए दिया गया है टेन ए इज गिवन राइट आपको मिला है टेन ए टेन ए राइट तो यू नो ए फॉर्मूला साइन टू ऐसे इन टर्म्स ऑफ वाट टेन ए वट इज द फॉर्मूला साइन टू ऐसे इक्वल टू वाट 2 tan a divided by 1 plus tan square a. If you still do not understand, please go through the list of the formula. Then you will understand why I have using this because your from your given condition, जो given condition दूध दिया था उस उससे हमने tan a निकाल दिया. तो अगर हमें tan a पता है, तो हमें ये formula use करना पड़ेगा. Understood? So putting the value of tan a. 2 into a by b and it will be 1 plus 10 square kya hoga a square by b square okay and which equal to lcm lene ke baad ye kya hoga a square plus b square okay baki calculation kare to kya hoga lcm lenge iske baad b bhi cancel hoga ye b upar jayega to twice a b by a square plus b square hoga theek hai i am not I'm bothering about this clear now next part of the problem you have to find cos alpha plus beta alpha plus beta kya hai twice a so you can write cos twice a okay so again you know you have given tan a equal to what a by b okay so you know a formula cos twice a have different type of formula among them one formula is in terms of what tan in terms of tan wala formula kya tha aap list mein jaiye aur check kijiye ye formula hai 1 minus tan square a divided by 1 plus tan square if this is the angle twice a this is the half half of the angle so putting the value of this 1 minus a square by b square 1 plus a square by b square lcm liya karo lcm kya hoga in numerator lcm is what b square in denominator lcm is what b square to so finally lcm lene ke baad b square minus a square ye kya hoga b square plus a square aur b square b square kya hoga cancel hoga and ultimately you get the result so you see this is are the not a difficult question these are the very nice question so how you can utilize the formula and what formula you are going to choose to solve the particular question that is important so it will be only happen when you practice more you practice more perfection level will be increase and you can apply the formula easily to solve the questions hope you understand my class and please share my classes or share my videos to all your friends so that they can be benefited okay so with these words i conclude here thank you very much all the best Okay have a good day